the narcissist hopes you won't find this out. They hope you won't figure this out. And that is why they create a false character and the illusion. It's intended to deceive you. To make you believe that they're on the same page. To make you believe that they understand. When the truth is that they can't understand because they lack empathy. They're only concerned with their own self-interest and needs. Which can change from one moment to the next. So it may often not even have any relevance to you. It may not always be something that you're concerned about. Although you may still try to understand it because you do have empathy. And you want to see where people are coming from. You want to understand the feelings that have caused them to have a particular opinion. And they will try to pull you into that by making you feel bad about yourself. Because that's exactly how they feel. They're full of pride, desire, anger, fear, shame and resentment. But they don't want you to know that. Because then you wouldn't even want to be around them. Once you know that they can't even regulate these emotions on their own. Because no normal healthy person would desire to be around someone like that. You would rather be around someone who is self-sustaining. Someone who is able to continue in a healthy state without outside assistance. Which is why they have to create an illusion. And immediately, the first thing they have to do is make you believe that you're unable to sustain yourself. They have to make you feel like you need help or assistance. Which is why they will love bomb you to make you dependent on them. To get you hooked because by that point you're just like them. You're dependent on them for validation. So then the dynamic works a lot better. Because you're both dependent on each other. It's no good if they're the only ones dependent on you. And you're running off doing whatever you want to do. That doesn't serve them. Which is why they have to give you a little bit of something in the beginning to make you feel like you need them. But even that little bit that they give to you isn't real. It's all an illusion and the illusion is a means to an end. It's a process done to accomplish a goal. And it may not even be something that they consider to be enjoyable or important. They consider it as more of a process than an activity. Because they're like robots or zombies. They're on a mission to reach the destination. So they may not even enjoy the actual process of achieving it. But they assume that it is necessary for them to suffer in order to accomplish their real goals. Because they're just doing it in order to achieve something else. And they will lie to you and use future faking. Because that's the only way that they can sustain the illusion. By presenting a false character to you. To make you believe that they're about the same things as you are. To make you believe that they enjoy it too. And they will act eager and enthusiastic. As though they actually feel something. When in reality they actually feel nothing positive at all. They only feel negative emotions. Which is why it will only ever be an illusion or a false character. Because positive emotions lead to a positive result. It's characterized by the presence rather than the absence of distinguishing features. So it will produce something desirable and constructive. 
but negative emotions will only produce something undesirable. It won't serve to promote improvement or advancement. It won't add anything positive or helpful. Anything useful or beneficial. And at times it may seem uncertain, indefinite or unclear. And that's how you should know that it is a false character. It is an illusion. It's not even real. It's a simulation. An imitation of a situational process. It's an act of pretending. It's deception. They're deliberately causing you to believe something that is not true for their own personal gain. They've given you a mistaken impression. And at times, because they're delusional, they may even fail to admit to themselves that something is true. Because at the end of the day, that's all they can do. They can only be who they are. They can't give you something that they are not. But they will rely on their manipulation and deception to make you believe they're about something that they are not. And they can be very good at this because they've had years of practice. You're not the first person they've done this to. So they already know exactly what they need to do to make you believe they're someone or something. When in reality they're nothing. Nothing that you would want to be associated with if you knew who they really are. And they already know it. Which is the whole point of the illusion and the false character. Because it's the only way that they can give you anything that's even close to what you're looking for. Without that they just have to surrender. And then they'd be left to their own devices. They'd be left unable to regulate their own emotions. Because that's what this is all about. That's why they spend so much time and effort on the false character. And it's why they're so protective of the illusion. Because it exists to sustain them emotionally. To give them fuel. And that's all that it's intended to do. You thought it was intended to be something else or something more. And that's what they led you to believe. But it's not. It's just a means to an end so that they can get what they want from you. Because their power lies in deceiving you. It causes you to hand your power over to them. Because you think they're about something for real. And you think they're going to reciprocate something back to you. Because you believe you're dealing with a real person who actually has something to give. When in reality they're extremely insecure. They have no inner sense of value. So anything you give to them just gets lost in the void. And you will never see it again. Because they don't even have the means to reciprocate anything back to you. They lack the mental and emotional capacity. And they lack affective empathy. Which means that they're not even interested in you as a person or anyone else. The only thing they're concerned about is what they're going to get from you. Which is why at times they may seem eager and enthusiastic. As though they're really interested in you. And they're really looking to build or establish something. They may seem composed. As though they have their feelings under control. They may seem cool, calm and collected. They may seem understanding and reasonable. And not too emotional. They may seem kind, generous and helpful. And in this moment you're probably getting a better version of them than anyone else. Even their husband, wife or children aren't even seeing this side of them. Because they're love bombing you. They're idealizing you. They're placing you on a pedestal. They're worshipping you. In this moment they're giving you everything they've got. And they're leaving nothing out. 
because they're waiting for a payout. They know that you've got something for real. And they're waiting for you to hand it over to them. And what they want is your attention and validation. Your energy and emotions. Your power, prosperity and sustenance. And once they've got that, they will return to low power. Where they're using the minimum power necessary to carry out the desired task. Whatever is required to sustain it. Because at that point, they're using all that power for themselves. To make themselves feel good at your expense. And that's all they come around you for. You may not see it initially, but in time you will begin to notice. Because the illusion isn't sustainable. It requires a constant supply of energy from you. Which is why if you spend an entire day with them, eventually you will feel drained and lifeless. Because they have no inner sense of value. They can't reciprocate energy back to you. Because it goes into a void. So the illusion will fall apart. And by that point they will have no use for you. They will see you as a lost cause. A person who can no longer hope to succeed or be changed for the better. When in fact that's who they are. Even though they conceal that from you the entire time. But in the end that's who you become to them. Because you reflect back to them that their false character doesn't exist and that the illusion isn't real. Narcissists are catching on to this. Many of them are aware of these videos. So they're learning more now. And they know how to maneuver around it. So now they've learned to manage their time around their targets. And this is why many of them will often have multiple targets. Because they understand that they can't generate their own energy and emotions from within. They understand that they are heavily dependent on other people. So they will manage their time with you. They will cut it off before the illusion falls apart. Not because they're expending anything. But because they understand that people only have a limited amount of their energy to supply them with. So they know that it's only going to last for a certain amount of time. And then they're going to get mad. They're going to start abusing you and lashing out at you. So they know they've got to keep it under wraps. Because they don't want you to see that side of them. But when you do begin to catch on. And you witness the dysfunction. To the point where it becomes undeniable. Now they have to switch it around on you. Because now they know that you can see there's more than one side of them. So they will own it and accept that they are given a false character to you. And they will play along as though they're not really attached to it. And they're not really about it. When in fact that is the truth. But they think that by owning it, they can pull the reins in on it and take control of it. But then they will also act as though who they really are is a lot better. As though they're keeping this wonderful, amazing character away from you. And you can't get to it or reach it. Because they're just giving you this garbage character who isn't about anything. When the reality is that no matter how bad the false character is, their true self is always a lot worse. When their mask comes off, there's really no telling what they will say or do to you. They will say or do whatever they think will hurt you the most. They will abuse you. They will project and deflect. They will gaslight you. They will put you through hell. But they're still cowards. So even when the mask comes off, they will still have some limits. And it's not because they care about you. 
it's because they're just trying to protect themselves. Because they're very weak and fragile people. But if it gets too hot and heavy and you manage to overcome them, they will play the victim and call the police on you. Because they are the ultimate cowards. And it will only remain unlawful as long as they are winning. Because they will use every tool in their arsenal to gain an advantage. They will pull out all the stops. But the truth is they're actually very weak. And they're terrified of being on the other end of it. Because they already know they couldn't handle even a fraction of what you've gone through with them. And they wouldn't even want to try. Because they already know they'd probably kill themselves or go insane. They wouldn't be able to deal with it. Which is why they will do everything in their power to ensure that they're on the other end of it. Because they're weak and spineless. They're cowards. Which is why they will make false accusations and start smear campaigns against you in an attempt to control you. Because they recognize your power. They were feeding from you the entire time. So they already know what you're capable of. They acted like you were nothing. But they were already aware of your value from the beginning. That's why they targeted you. That's why they did everything in their power to keep you down. That's why they always had to be two steps ahead of you. Because they knew that if the shoe was on the other foot, you could destroy them if you wanted to. Which is why they will make it their mission to label you as the one who is bad, crazy or wrong. Because then that gives them power over you. It gives them the ability to control you. And they see it as though the more power and control they have the better. Because by this point you have become a serious threat to their false character and the illusion. So they may even work with the police. And impose a bunch of false charges on you. Which is very easy for them to do. Because a lot of police officers, lawyers and judges are narcissistic as well. So they may all be in it together. And while it may seem as though they're all looking for a payout. You've only got to look at all of the resources they're expending just to control you. To know that that isn't even a concern to them. All they're concerned with is your energy and emotions. And they have to get that from you. Because there are very few people who are able to give that to them. You're a rare breed. You're an anomaly. But they will play it out as though you're the one who is bad or crazy. And they're doing it to prove to everyone that you're the problem. And they have to keep people away from you. But that is quite possibly the greatest illusion of all. Because they already know all too well that it is in fact the other people who are crazy and delusional. And they may have even already told you this themselves a long time ago, but you didn't listen. You thought that they were just trying to isolate you. And while that may have been a part of it as well, they were actually telling the truth. And that's why they chose to associate with them in the first place. Because they already know they're not going to get any sane or rational people to do what they do. No one in the right mind would want to be a part of it and they know it. Which is why you may later discover that they actually don't even care if you talk to them. They just use that as a part of the illusion to control you. To make you think that they've got something that you can't have or be a part of. But they actually don't even care about it. In many situations you can go out and talk to whoever you want. They're not going to care. Because they already know these people are no good. They know they're not going to make your life better. They know it's just going to bring you down and make you worse. So in their minds, it's like be my guest. Go ahead and do it. And they will find pleasure in watching you associate with people who they already know mean you know well. People who are just as fake and bad as them.
because they already know it's not going to lead to a positive result. They already know you're not going to be satisfied with that. So they will play along. They will act as though these other people are better for you. When in fact they already know that isn't true. They already know you're just wasting your time. Because they know that if they have the power to convince people of their delusions and false reality, those people are already no good. Of course they're fully aware of that. Because that's exactly what they're trying to do to you. And if they do manage to trick you and get you to change yourself, they don't even want you anymore. Because they already understand that your power lies in being unfazed and unmoved, in not caring about what other people think, in not changing your purpose or intention just because other people tell you to do so. Yes, they're already fully aware of that. Which is why they're trying to indoctrinate you. So of course they already know that the other people are no good. Because if they were anything special, they wouldn't have been a part of the illusion to begin with. Which is why as soon as you accept the illusion as real, and they know you're not going anywhere, they treat you like garbage. They treat you like you don't even exist. Because by that point you don't. Because you're not being who you said you were. You're not staying true to yourself. So yes, they know that if anyone believes in the illusion they're not real or authentic. They're not good for anyone after that. Because if they were, they wouldn't even get involved. They wouldn't even desire to be a part of it. They wouldn't support it. They would oppose it. They would try to tear it down. But they don't, and instead they become subjected to it. They're forced to undergo this experience and form of treatment, and it does have an unwelcome and unpleasant effect on them. It traumatizes them. It subjects them to lasting shock as a result of a disturbing experience, which is why they always look so miserable and defeated. Because just imagine if you were on the end of that. Just imagine if you had to witness them doing these things to someone else. The same things that they do to you. It would affect you. It would destroy you from the inside out. Because it's very damaging and self-destructive. What you do to another person or thing will always affect you in some way. If it's harmful, unwelcome or undesirable, it will always come back to you. It's the law of cause and effect. It has to recirculate. And you can see it on their faces. You can see it in their actions and choices. They are miserable. Which is why whenever you're around them and it begins to affect you too. Because you're relatively healthy. So you're more sensitive to it. You can't be around it for a long time. You can't relish in it like they do. Which is how you should already know. That anyone who is healthy and functional would have left a long time ago. They would not have chosen to remain in that dynamic. Because they would be sensitive to it. And they would desire something healthier and more functional. Something more peaceful. Peaceful. 
a normal person just wouldn't entertain it. They wouldn't want to be around it. So they already know that whoever you're thinking is better or whoever you think you're friends with is just garbage as well. Because they're still entertaining it. They're involved in the illusion. So that automatically means they're no good. They're already traumatized and damaged. Just as you would be if you were on the other end of it. If you were forced to witness another person's pain, suffering and misfortune. Which is something you wouldn't be able to do. Because if you are a genuine, healthy, functional person, you would step in. You would try to stop it. Or at the very least, you would try to be around that person as much as possible so that you can comfort and nurture them. Because that's just the most human thing to do. We want people to feel loved. We want to be the most compassionate, sympathetic and generous versions of ourselves. And flying monkeys or gang stalkers are very good at playing their parts. They know the difference between what is normal and what is not. So they will conform to a standard that is deemed to be usual, typical or expected. But it's not instinctual for them. It's not something that happens naturally. Instead it's thought about and planned or developed by training. It's premeditated. It's calculated. And it serves as a means to an end. Because it isn't real. It isn't authentic. They're just grooming you. They're preparing and training you for a particular purpose or activity. Which makes them very dangerous people to be around. Because eventually they can't help but expose themselves. And that is when they will become abusive. And they will set out to destroy you. Because they may see it as though you have exposed them. Even though that may never have been what you were intending to do. You were just trying to build something real. But once you catch on it's all over for you after that. There is no going back. They may switch back and forth between other unsuspecting targets to maintain it. But they're going to know that you know that they're full of shit. So they're only going to spend a limited amount of time around you. Because now you're a serious threat to the illusion. And the more time they spend around you the more they risk exposing themselves to other people. People who may be their family and friends. People who are in a state of delusion. Just as you once were as a result of spending too much time around them. But this is how you should know. That if they were good and everything was okay with them. They wouldn't even need an illusion to begin with. They would just be themselves. Or they would be working towards something better. But they don't because they already know that they're condemned. And what's already understood doesn't need to be said. They don't ever need to come out and tell you who they are. Words don't matter. Look at their actions. What are they doing? What are they trying to achieve? That will tell you everything you need to know about them. That will show you who they are. And yes, when they see what you're doing, they will try to jump on the bandwagon and act like they're about that as well. But again, can they maintain it for a long period of time? Is this something that they're committed to for a long period of time? Or is it only when you're around? That will tell you if it's real.
And the more that you try to maintain your authenticity and identity, the more that they will devalue and degrade you. They're not going to support anything that is good about you because they're trying to destroy your identity. They're like the devil. They will try to tempt and entice you into doing things that they know are no good for you. They will manipulate and deceive you. They will lead you astray because they know that no human is inaccessible. We all have our own weaknesses and vulnerabilities and these can sometimes lead us down the wrong path. But that does not mean that we're no good. Although that is what they want you to think. Because they know they're no good. And they know there's no going back for them. So by default all they can try to do is be on the other end of it. Because they already know you don't want to see who they really are. They're dramatic and chaotic. They're petty, emotional and aggressive. They're arrogant and entitled. They're all knowing and all seeing. They always have to be right. And yet they're impossible to reach or understand. So with that being said, all they can really do is become the self-righteous vigilante. This person who always has their nose in other people's business. Where they try to discover things that don't involve them. Things that they shouldn't even be concerned about. Because they have to discredit you. They have to convince everyone you're wrong. They have to turn everyone against you. To maintain their false self and the illusion. Because they already know that they're full of shit. They're missing the key ingredient to what makes a human being. And they already know it. Which is why they're so mad. Because they already know that no matter what, that means they have already lost. They've already been defeated. They were losers from day one. Which is why the game never ends. As they constantly try to prove themselves as something that they are not. Because the reality is they just don't have it. They have no soul. They have no heart. They're dead inside. They're not even human. And some people may be aware of this. They may have witnessed. And what happens in those situations, as I've seen in my own experience, is that they will set out to destroy those individuals unless they can completely ignore them. But if you have a voice and you're speaking your truth, they will do everything in their power to shut you down because they don't want people to know the truth about them. And the truth is that they're heartless. They have a complete lack of feeling and consideration. They were dead a long time ago. And that is what they don't want people to know. Because by that point it's game over. It doesn't matter who you are or what you're supposed to have done. By that point they've already lost and they know it. Which is why they deliberately set out to prove a point. To show you and everyone else that you're not who you say you are. Because that's the only thing that they can do. They're not going to take it upon themselves to be better people. You're the only one who's going to do that. Because that's actually who you are. You're the real deal and they know it. Which is why they set out to destroy you. So that they can bury the truth. It's why they deny your authority in certain situations. It's why they take away your power. Because they know that if it stays where it rightfully belongs, they're not going to have a leg to stand on. 
you're going to tear them apart. But you're going to do that with love and compassion. Which is no good for them because they see that as a weakness. And they're trying to find strength by controlling you. Because that's the only thing they can do. They lack empathy. They lack that instinctual drive to do something right. The very thing that makes us human. And they already know it. They know it's game over for them after that. They know they're fighting a losing battle. Because once you're so caught up in what other people have done, you've lost yourself. You've just gone and sold your soul to the devil. By feeling like the world is against you. And as though everything is unfair to you. Because now you're thinking about harming people. You're going out of your way to bring other people down. Which is exactly what they've done. And it's exactly what they're trying to do to you. But that's something I will never do. I will never sell my soul. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you could donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You could book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.